To help your Kubota RTV X1100 Series utility vehicle operate at its maximum potential, regularly scheduled maintenance is crucial. Cleaning and or replacing the engine air filter and cabin air filter is easy to do. Precautions regarding personal protection should be followed as described in your operator's manual. Let's get started. You'll need to have on hand a source of compressed air, rags or paper towels, your Kubota operator's manual, and it's recommended you keep on hand a spare filter element. Your authorized Kubota dealer has these on hand and can provide the correct original Kubota part. Always install the Kubota brand filters in your equipment. Kubota engineers have exhaustively tested and established the quality standards needed for the long life of your machine. Differences in micron filtration, material quality, and construction of a filter can impact the well-being of your investment. Remove the air cleaner cover and the primary element. Then proceed to clean the primary element. You'll check for dry dust and debris, which may adhere to the element. Blow compressed air from the inside of the element to the outside. Don't exceed 205 kPa or 2.1 kGF per centimeter, 30 psi of air pressure. Don't blow material onto yourself and always wear appropriate protective equipment. If it appears carbon or oil residues have adhered to the element, it will require replacement. Regardless, follow the maintenance recommendation in your operator's manual, which advises this element be replaced once yearly or every 1,000 hours of operation, whichever comes first. Check the evacuator valve to remove any blockages. Check the rubber seal and replace if damaged. In your normal inspection routine, open the evacuator valve once a week or daily in dusty conditions to eliminate large particles of dust and dirt. The air cleaner of the RTV X1100C uses a dry element. Never apply oil of any type. Also, do not run the engine without the air cleaner element properly installed and secured. In conclusion of this service procedure, be sure to refit the cover with the arrow on the rear of the cover pointed upright. If this simple step is overlooked and the cover is improperly fitted, the evacuator valve will not function and dust will adhere to the element. It's best to not touch the secondary element except when replacing it. Next, we'll replace the cabin air filter. First, remove the cabin air filter cover, then remove the cabin air filter. Don't exceed 205 kilopascal or 2.1 kilogram force per centimeter, 30 pounds per square inch of air pressure. Don't blow material onto yourself and always wear appropriate protective equipment. Replace the cabin air filter cover. The cabin air filter should be cleaned every 200 hours and replaced every 1000 hours. Always refer to the safety and procedure instructions in your Kubota operator's manual for this procedure and any others you undertake. Thanks for watching. Kubota, together we do more.